Welcome everybody. This is Cola Blow with a brand new plugin called the uh, Awesome Neon Sign Maker, or you know, Neon Skins is the name. Uh, just a quick overview of what it does, and then a little tutorial on how to make them. Um, quick overview. By default, the plugin does come with five. The five you see in front of you, five default neon signs. I guess you could say. First one is a standard open sign. Uh, that sign. Yeah, Rust Wiser. Just a quick Rust one I made. And just a simple, could be a clan logo or server logo, whatever you need. Um, kind of cool, it's pretty easy to make. It does require a sign already be on the wall. All you do is place one, walk up to it. Commands are neon dot sign. And when you sign one, just type one, hit enter. See? Oh, neon, sorry, neon to add one. There you go. It'll add sign one. There you go. Same thing you say, neon to add two for sign two. There you go. Pretty awesome, and so forth and so forth. Like I say, <clears throat> you can also toggle the signs off and on. Neon to toggle. It'll toggle it in the whatever position you toggle off on. This is actually a sign that's been toggled off after a restart. See, neon dot toggle. Turn them back on. There you go. And if you see the rug there, these are all actually just rugs hanging on the wall that's been reskinned. So that's why that looked like that. And the first time you load any of these skins, you will see the rug at first, and then they'll switch to the one you made. Okay, another option you can do, those are animated signs. Like I said, there's five default animated signs that come with it. You can change all the signs in the default config here. If you look at it, you got sign one. There's three skins per sign. Basically, it's a three frame animation, I guess you could say. All the you can change, you can make your own. This is just for the default signs. You can add your own custom signs as it is. So you say, you want to do something more customized so let me get a here is three skin IDs that I made for that custom animation you copy all three of them in a row with a space in between this is a wide sign neon that skin wide so we're skinning this a wide format basically landscape all three pasted and it'll paste all three there you go, just like that one. Same one. Okay. Here, now you can do skin tall. If you have like, say a tall, tall man here, you can just pull this off the workshop, real quick and easy. Beyond that, skin tall. There you go, this is just an aesthetic a static image, nothing special. It does not do animation, and it's not, it's just a PNG that you can apply to it. It makes some pretty cool stuff. Okay, now another option you have is skinning a rug on the floor, just like that one. I'm gonna go here, we do uh, neon dot skin rug. This is just for skinning a basic rug. We'll paste in three skins, one, two, and three, with a space in between each other. That's the three different skins. It will skin that rug just just like the rest of them. Like I say, this is just a rug skin with a single water element. Like I say, you can skin any of these. You can turn them off. You can turn them back on with the neon dot toggle. There we go. A lot of cool stuff. Like I say, you can place these over windows, put something transparent, like somebody's putting their face out the window. You can make all kinds of things. Uh, another option you have now in the new version is neon dot wings. Okay, you've got to be flying, that's right. Neon dot wings. There you go, loads of wings. You got some little bit of angel wings there. Kind of cool, that's in the new version 1.0.1. .1. Wings. Time again, we'll turn them back off. You got three different kind of wings. Neon dot. That was the angel wings. You can type neon dot wings angel or let's go with fairy if you're into that. If you want to be awesome, 
you just suit to match there you go and then you have just drop that default we'll turn them off and, okay and then neon dot damn wings are black these are really cool these are also flaming wings I think it's pretty cool there you go be pretty useful for it I'll try to make them animated here shortly but if for right now they're just kind of a static uh, static wings there we go I'll turn off in just a second all right now that's the basic overlay of the over of how to use what you have in the game and if you know anything about skins or getting skin IDs then it's pretty easy just to make something put it in the workshop and then get the skin ID for it and come over here and put it on the wall pretty quick and easy so in just a minute I'll see you guys in a minute I'm gonna give you a little quick breakdown on how to go to the workshop and uh, we'll go from there all right see you in a minute all right everyone here we are again we're at the steam workshop Let's pop up this what you get now what we want to do <clears throat> start from scratch here we're gonna start something new okay we don't want the t-shirt we want the rug so go to your rug here you go this is your default rug what we're gonna do we're gonna reskin it we're gonna do a simple one frame rug so start with I normally just save this texture as something which is just test PNG it'll save that to your desktop now what you gotta do you gotta open some kind of photo editing program normally I use Photoshop let's see File. Okay, there we go open now there's some pictures test we have that there we go there's your default rug I normally just erase everything one thing you need to mind for me to at the very top here if you notice that's the sides of the rug you really don't want to get into that when you're placing your pictures just kind of FYI you want to get a little bit below it there we go now you take that one clean it off now we can place anything we want on it I'll go with this guy right here it's pretty cool so this is basically what you're looking at is a wide when I'm talking about tall or wide that's what I'm talking about we're gonna make it a wide so it's gonna be placed just like this now if I turn it this I wanted to turn it this way I can move it like that and have it really really tall I would place it in the tall aspect ratio you know that's neon that skin that tall than the ID but so we're gonna do a wide one so right there that looks good place that there now we're gonna save it file save as it's got to be a PNG so to be testing we do skull skull PNG there we go so now there we go down at the bottom so now we have we can remove the default rug find our skull PNG there we go and we got that see right now it would make a nice just a nice single picture but if you switch it to nighttime doesn't glow or anything so what I find is <clears throat> I like to replace every one of these with that same picture it makes a really good you may not have to do all of them but I just I like it that's the way I do it now what we need is take the emissions all three colors it makes it real good alpha you can play with the alpha to kind of cut you know what you want missing and what you don't want missing uh, halfway is usually pretty good I usually do half half all the way down except you know I'm just kinda from there looks pretty awesome it's gonna look like that on the wall now we can go to the slider see at night time you'll see the exact same image nothing different very awesome like I say you can do that with anything any PNG but I would always recommend getting the picture putting it on a erased default texture for that for the rug it makes things much simpler so now what we need to name it we'll call it skull skull wide so we know go to steam hit publish it'll upload to steam and it should open up the website in just a second and get us the 
Steam ID right here at the very end. That is the Steam ID of your newly created skin. Another way to get that, if you don't know, open up Steam, go to your content, workshop items, right there, click on it. Click on it one more time, make it big like this. Right click, go to view source. Normally the skin ID is in there somewhere. You'll see it looks kind of like that. Or you can always do the right click, copy page URL and go back and it's the last set of digits. So we have it saved. Let's go back to our game, there we go. So now it's ready, we finished with that one. Like I said, these are just some of the things that I did. Now, if you want to do an animated skin, you need three skins. You just need to make three, get all three skin IDs. So I'll be back in just a minute, and uh, we'll go back with that skull and place it in. All right. Okay, here we are back again. I got back in the game. So now we're going to take that skull we made. Like I said, we made it in a wide format. So we're going to do neon skin wide, and then paste that there. And give it a second. There's the rug, and give it a few seconds to download. So, depending how, depending how big the uh, file is, it may take a second to load up. But uh, we can look at there. You go, and there's that sign right there. Now, you say none of these. Test these things at nighttime. Let's go and switch it to nighttime. Here we go. Like, say that one should go pretty nicely. The guy was not made with an emission set on the bottom. You see, these are very cool. I think cool clan logo would be pretty awesome on the side of your uh, building or a little hall pretty cool These, the possibilities are pretty much limitless you know especially if you're, you know how to get the skin ID or make skins in the workshop um, it won't be too hard uh, I'll try to get a better in-depth skin skin maker tutorial down the road but uh, that's the basics there like I said, don't forget you also have the wings. They're also, uh, they do go in the dark. Neon that skin. Oh, there's neon that wings. There we go. First time you're back in, there we go. go Night time, the, uh, they do they do glow a little bit, kind of cool. It looks like the right one's a little different deal, but that's, I get people interested when you're flying by. There we go. All right, and there you have it. Like I say, there's a lot more things I'm going to add. Uh, I'm working on getting your weapon uh, toggle. You can toggle your weapon skin on the fly. Um, and also possibly clothing. The weapon skin, when I've, it's working. Got some tweaks to do, but the clothing one I haven't tried yet. Maybe you can toggle a set of invisibility clothing. You know, That would be kind of cool. Or different camo. You, maybe you can go from cam, uh, desert camo to uh, forest camo or something. Yeah. Working the same same kind of thing and down the road I'll have it where things will save a little better let's see well, here we go turn those off because currently right now only the default five signs will save completely on restart uh, the rest of them if it's a custom one single one it's fine uh, if it's a custom you can make yourself another custom 3d one you can do anything you want but on reloads, they only save the first image, and you'll just have to reskin it real quick. Um, I'll work on that. I'll get a. Uh, it's saving all the files. There's a lot of back end work to do still. There's my pirate ship. Arr. It's a little knot out there. But uh, that's it. Like I say, I hope you guys make some really awesome stuff, and uh, I hope to take this plug and do a lot of cool things with it for you guys. Like I say, you can sell these uh, packages to VIP players. Uh, they can have kick-ass custom signs for their building. I think everybody's a win-win, and I thank you guys for supporting me and uh, let me have fun and show you what I can do. This is great. Have a good day. Bye.